Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing my 2020 presidential election prediction and this will be Joe Biden versus Donald Trump obviously so let's get into it and fill out the safe states because uh, these are states that will definitely not like uh, they'll have above 15% for that state in the election uh, Nebraska except its second district uh, I believe that's it, South Carolina there we go, now do Democrat safe states I forgot about Alaska Democrat um, New York I do think all of these will be safe I think Maine except its second district will be safe um, as well as Illinois uh, I think that's all of them yes okay so these are all the technically swing states but some of them like I do believe Nevada will be likely Democrat um, I do think Virginia will be likely Democrat. I think Minnesota will be likely Democrat. Colorado and New Mexico will both be uh, likely Democrat. Um, uh, and the likely Democrat is 5 to 10%. Um, and then lean is below 5 and tilt is within 1%. Uh, I do and I think that's it for de Democrats and then Texas I do think it will be uh, likely likely Republican I think it is very safe in this election despite what the mainstream media might say or the polls might say this is definitely not a competitive well it is competitive but it's gonna go to the tr to the Trump party and I do think that it will stay there and it will get competitive around 2028 or 2032 just around there I do think it will probably be in the tilt column but not at this time I do think Ohio and Iowa will both be likely Republican states they voted overwhelmingly for Trump Iowa by 9% I think so yeah I think Georgia will be lean I reckon that will be probably like four percent in favor of Donald Trump and the Republicans. Again, despite what the mainstream media will say, this will be a close. It will be close, but it won't be within one percent. It and it will be a Republican state in this election. Potentially in the future, it can be competitive, but not in this election by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, Florida I think will be lean it will be Trump but it will be like uh, 2 or 3 percent I reckon maybe 1 or 2 uh, now we come to the final states it's getting really close yeah, they are on similar numbers they're in the exact same number in fact they're both on 232 two. Uh, I think North Carolina will be a Republican state maybe by like 2 percent I reckon uh, it will be close though there is a chance it goes tilt democrat but i personally don't believe it will uh... then there's arizona i think that will be a uh, lean democrat and this this one's a little bit out there however my evidence for that in the current house map the state of arizona the democrats hold five out of the nine districts currently in there as well as in the senate election they elected a Democratic senator. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, they elected a Democratic senator. So, I do think it's a real possibility. That I think it will go to Joe Biden. However, something that might that might make that lean Republican is if Trump really hammers down all the stuff that's coming out on Biden like the sexual assault allegations these recordings that have now come to light 
So it, it could, it's definitely going to be a close state, but I do think the Democrats have a real chance of winning it. I think it also elected a Democratic governor as well, so it's pretty, it's leaning left. Uh, and I think that will go to Biden. Uh, Maine, I reckon Biden might hold that by a lean margin. I think it's very probable that he does. Um, Trump did win it in 2016. This is 2016. But one thing's for certain is it's not going to get any worse than this. Uh, Hillary Clinton was not a good candidate uh, with all the the quote unquote dirt Trump could dig up on her. So it's it was very clear that Trump was uh, like mainstream media made it out like Missouri was going to be close and Arizona. Uh, and Montana and Alaska, they were all going to be close to Texas at one point. But at the end of the day, they weren't going to be close. And as you can see by the election, Trump won by a landslide. Um, and yeah, so it's definitely not getting any worse than this. Um, I can guarantee that. Um, now for the states of Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. Now, these states are interesting because they'd all been like Democrat for 20 years before the 2016 election which of course they went to Donald Trump. Let's start with Wisconsin. In the Senate map they elected a Democrat senator, they also have a Republican senator. I do, it's the most conservative out of the three. I do think it will go to Donald Trump by a lean margin. Again there is a very probable chance that does go to Biden however I do believe it's the most conservative one and it will go to Donald Trump. Now comes the all important states here. Ah, let's do Nebraska first. I do think Trump will win Nebraska's second district by a lean margin. Um, now these two states. These decide the election. For example, if I gave this one to Biden and then that one to Trump, Trump wins and the same way the other way around. Now if we go on the Senate map the state of Michigan elected two Democratic Senators and the House seats don't look too great but that's because they're quite big districts and I do think by about one or two percent I reckon it will be tilt definitely tilt either way. I do think Biden will pick up Michigan if he spends time there, Hillary Clinton kind of neglected it and went for states like Missouri um, but and North Carolina. But if Biden spends time and money in Michigan, I do believe he can pick it up by a lean margin, uh, tilt margin. That's by like 1%, less than 1%. Now Pennsylvania, this will be a very interesting state. Honestly, I don't think I could call this state um, because Biden will perform better than Hillary Clinton in my opinion with Barack Obama behind him as well like from his experience and I do I do think they both could win it it will be down to turnout more than anything the more, if there's bigger turnout in Pennsylvania I could definitely see Biden winning it by tilt but if there's lower turnout or there's higher turnout and Trump hammers down all the like and gets all the people out that he had before from Clinton, it could definitely be tilt Republican. And in my opinion, Pennsylvania is the deciding state. I couldn't characterize it as either way because obviously Trump won it in 20, uh, 2016. Um, but I do think this election will be closer. It won't be as much of a landslide as the 2016 election was by any stretch of the imagination. I do think it will be closer. I do think Arizona will go to the Democrats. Um, and these states, like, like for example with Arizona, I could definitely see the Republicans winning that. However, I think it will go to the Democrats. The states like Florida, Georgia and North Carolina are almost guaranteed Republican states, but just by small margins. Uh, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, this is my, actually I think uh, New Hampshire will be that.
five to ten percent. Um, I do think Pennsylvania is a deciding state. If I were to characterize it with one, I'd probably let's let's, hmm, let's have a look at Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't know. If you look at this, it looks very uh, Republican. Uh, I'm going to characterize it as tilt Republican because it, yes, Joe Biden was born there, but I think Hillary Clinton spent more time in it than he did. So I'm going to put it as tilt Republican, which would give Trump the win. However, I do need to stress these two states, subject to change, they're very close. They'll be very close either way. Uh, Wisconsin, probably less so, but that one will be close as well. And this is my prediction. Oh, sorry. Uh, Biden. Um, of the 2020 election, and it does end with the Trump win. I'll try to be as impartial as possible. I would just like to, this is an edit afterwards, is uh, look at the Real Clear Politics uh, polling data. Uh, if you look at this, uh, these are the battleground states according to this one, which I do agree are pretty key battles of ground states. Um, min like Minnesota averaging 5.5 .5 points to Biden. Uh, if you look at the state of North Carolina, one in favor of Trump, so my lean margin is pretty good for that one. But like if you go to Michigan, for example, Biden's up by 5.5. And you may be claiming, well, they put Hillary up, so they're wrong. If you go to here, Trump won it by 0.3%, and they had Clinton up by 3.4%. However, the margin of error is 4.5%. So, technically the polls weren't wrong. Obviously, Trump winning 0.3% is a close state. And if you look at uh, Wisconsin... Trump won it by 0.7. If you look at Pennsylvania, Trump won it by 0.7. So they're all going to be very, very close states. And this is actually because if you go to Pennsylvania, Trump, uh, Biden's up by 6.5, uh, which is two two percent outside the margin of error. If you look at 2016, 1.9% Clinton, it was within the margin of error. So I'm actually going to change it. So here to tilt Democrat because of that polling data. Now I understand polls aren't accurate 100% of the time granted um, however in the Clinton race they were within the margin of error like it's definitely down to that but it's also down to turnout and this is from like right now this in the future this could is subject to change obviously as debates happen and stuff but my initial presidential election is going to be that the democrats win because of these two tilt states i do think wisconsin will go to trump and arizona i think this could very very possibly be the map and down to the polling data and again i must stress these are polls based off now the debates haven't happened nothing's happened yet once they get into it I'll have a more detailed one I'll go into each state more individually and I will see if the polls have changed and have a more analytical view but this is off the offset like hardly anything's happened but I'll have another prediction in like maybe a month or two to and maybe even a senate prediction before that before you guys so thank you guys so much for watching take care and goodbye